Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. As the WHKY News continues, time now for the Crime Report. Ralph Mangum here. WHKY's Ariana Mack is up first with three arrests from Caldwell County. A Lenore man is arrested for trafficking in methamphetamine. 53-year-old Adrian Devon Hill of Norwood Street in Lenore was arrested on Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's Officers. He was charged with three felonies, trafficking in methamphetamine, possession with intent to sell or deliver Schedule II controlled substance, and maintaining a vehicle or dwelling for controlled substance. Hill was jailed under $200,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No court dates were listed. A Hickory man is arrested for possession of stolen property. 27-year-old Shane Tyrell Stinson of Hickory was arrested on Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He was charged with felony possession of stolen property and misdemeanor larceny. Stinson was jailed under $10,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. He is scheduled to appear in district court on September 4th. And a Rutherfordton man charged with methamphetamine possession. 33-year-old Eric Charles Hall of Cove Road in Rutherfordton was arrested on Monday by Lenore police officers. He was charged with possession of methamphetamine. Hall was jailed under $5,000 secured bond in the Caldwell County Detention Center. No court dates were listed. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. With details on an arrest in a Burke County drug case, here's WHKY's Rob Eastwood. The suspect in this case was arrested following a traffic stop early Sunday morning. Police reportedly found fentanyl, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia during their investigation. As of the time I'm filing this report, the suspect remains in jail in Burke County. A court date is scheduled in September. 43-year-old Lisa Marie Santana of Pine Street in Morganton was arrested Sunday by Morganton Public Safety. She's charged with felony counts of possession of Schedule II controlled substance, possession of Schedule VI controlled substance, and possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver Schedule IV controlled substance. She's also charged with misdemeanor counts of possession of drug and marijuana paraphernalia and resisting a public officer. At 1 a.m. Sunday, a public safety officer conducted a traffic stop on U.S. 70 West at Pleasant View Baptist Church. During the investigation, police reportedly found items including 0.81 grams of fentanyl, 16.06 grams of marijuana, and a digital scale. According to the North Carolina Department of Adult Correction Offender Public Information website, Santana has multiple convictions listed dating back to 2012. Most of the cases are from Burke County, with the most recent being in July of 2023. In that case, Santana was convicted of felony possession of Schedule II controlled substance. She received probation and a suspended sentence. Following Sunday's arrest, Santana was brought to the Burke County Jail under $20,000 secured bond. As of the time I'm filing this report, she remains in jail. A district court appearance is scheduled for September 9th in Morganton. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. 47-year-old Nakisho Kima Thompson of North Oxford Street in Claremont was arrested Monday by Hickory police officers. She's charged with possession with intent to sell and deliver cocaine, simple possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Thompson was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond. A district court appearance was scheduled Tuesday. 38-year-old Dustin Michael Duckworth of the Dearborn Street Extension in Morganton was arrested by Burke County Sheriff's officers on August 14th on felony counts of possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and possession of a stolen firearm, along with a misdemeanor count of carrying a concealed weapon. 
At about 6.40 p.m. on the 14th, criminal investigators, narcotics officers, and the North Carolina Department of Adult Corrections K-9 unit saw Duckworth operating a motor vehicle. They knew Duckworth was driving with a suspended license and displaying a fictitious license plate. A traffic stop was conducted. Multiple concealed firearms were found, including one weapon that had been reported as stolen to the Valdez Police Department. Duckworth was taken into custody without incident. As he was placed under arrest, a clear, crystalline substance was found on Duckworth's person. That substance tested positive for methamphetamine. Duckworth was given a $15,000 secured bond. He is not currently listed as an inmate in Burke County. A first appearance in district court was scheduled on August 15th, with another court date coming up on September 5th. And 62-year-old Timothy Dale Bryson of Forest Ridge Drive in Hickory has been arrested by Hickory police on felony counts of possession of a Schedule II controlled substance and possession of methamphetamine, along with misdemeanor counts of carrying a concealed gun and possession of drug paraphernalia, two counts. Bryson was jailed Tuesday in the Catawba County Detention Facility under a $10,000 bond. An appearance in court was scheduled Tuesday in Newton. And that'll do it for the Crime Report. Thank you all for joining us. Now for WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum reminding you to keep it clean and keep it legal.